It's a pleasure to be here, and it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be invited to, to speak in Barcelona again. This is about my sixth visit. And um, I've, I've just come back from New Zealand uh, a, few, a few weeks back, and, and uh, one of my recent uh, speeches was out there, and I, I had a lovely white shirt on. And before my speech, they took me out for a meal. And of course, idiot that I am, I spilt tomato sauce all the way down it, didn't I? And uh, so I had to go up and speak with a shirt covered in tomato sauce. Today, all I've got on here is lots of ink spots, so um, we're okay with that. But, um, but anyway, um, this is really the presentation I want to talk to you about today, the idea that um, online learning is changing. And my presentation is going to be based on the argument that the future of online learning is going to have two aspects to it. It's going to be richly social, but it's also going to be intensely personal. That sounds like a paradox, but let me try and explain to you how that's going to work or how I think it's going to pan out. Um, I'll start off with this slide here. This is a, a clever chap. Um, I, I, don't, I won't worry about the quote, but um, I want to tell you a story about um, Einstein. It's probably not true, um, but nevertheless, it serves to illustrate an important point about learning and about knowledge. Uh, it seems that Einstein, when he was a lot younger, and he was quite unknown still, but his theory was becoming known. There were not many photographs of him, but um, Einstein was invited to go to America on a tour, a lecture tour, and when he arrived they assigned him a chauffeur, a driver. One of these old-fashioned drivers with the cap and the hat, and he had a limousine, and he took Einstein around from venue to venue, and the chauffeur would sit at the back and listen and then he'd take Einstein to his next hotel and the next venue and so on. And after about seven or eight of these, with Einstein giving the same speech word for word every night, the chauffeur said to Einstein one night, he said, Do you know, Professor Einstein, I've heard your speech so many times that you know, I could do it myself. I could probably get up and do it. And Einstein said, Well, I'm, I'm quite tired. Um, I could do with the rest. Let's swap clothes and you can get up and do my speech if you think you can do it. And so the chauffeur thought about it. He said, well, okay, let's do it then. So they swapped clothes. And Einstein dressed in the, in the driver's uh, cap and hat and, and uh, coat and sat at the back. And the chauffeur came up in Einstein's suit and when was introduced as Professor Einstein. He gave a perfect, word-perfect rendition of the special theory of relativity. At the end, everyone stood up and applauded him. It was rapturous applause. Perfect presentation. And he realized he was in trouble because the chair said, are there any questions from the floor? And the first question was from an eminent professor in the front row who said something or other, and the chauffeur didn't understand a word of it. But 